All right, hey, it's time for Mayor Monday, and this morning we're headed to one of our area's most affluent communities in Clackamas County. The city of Lake Oswego is known for its bustling small business scene, but like other communities, the pandemic has posed a challenge. And joining us live this morning is the mayor of Lake Oswego, Joe Buck. Good morning, Mayor. Hi, good morning. Good morning. So, so what is your reaction to uh, moving to extreme risk in Clackamas County and, and you know, how that's going to affect everything? Right. Well, the, the Lake Oswego community, like many others has, uh, in our state, has, has um, taken the, the precautions very seriously uh, to prevent uh, the you know, spread of COVID. And we've worked diligently uh, with one another to keep each other safe uh, now you know, for, for over a year. Um, but we're at a stage where uh, the calculus is, is, is a bit different, and we need to increase both uh, access and motivation uh, to receive the vaccine. And we all know that a vaccinated population is our collective ticket to a future beyond the pandemic. Uh, it's critical for the health of everyone in the uh, uh, community. So, um, you know, what I wanted to talk about today is what our fire department has been doing here locally. I, I heard Ken talking about and, and, and you two talking about how it's difficult for folks right now to sign up for a vaccine. And the vaccines that are available are often far away uh, from where people live. So not everyone in the metro area has the time to drive down to Marion County or across the river to, to Clark County to receive a vaccine. So our fire department has been working both within Lake Oswego and outside um, of Lake Oswego and other parts of Clackamas County, um, in Malala, in Wilsonville, um, and they've delivered over 7,000 uh, vaccines. And we partnered with our Chamber of Commerce here in Lake Oswego to vaccinate uh, frontline employees uh, and their families. And that proved to be very effective. And uh, at, at, I'm the, the mayor, but also an, an employer here, and uh, being able to connect my uh, employees, working with other employers to connect employees directly with the, with the vaccine to get it scheduled um, where they could get it in their backyard is really what we need to be doing across the state. And so I'm employing the, the state to invest in making sure that vaccines are able to reach people where they live because we're at that stage where it's a, uh, the working population needs to be vaccinated um, and that needs to be very convenient for them to do. Yeah, I know. I, I drove, uh, made two trips down to Salem, you know, mm -hmm. and, and, and did the fairgrounds mm -hmm. route. But I know not everyone has the, the time and transportation to be able to do that. So really important to get those vaccinations out to people where they're at. I know in the, sa in the same vein, uh, a lot of small businesses right now are needing support. Uh, anything available for your businesses in Lake Oswego? Well, throughout, throughout the pandemic, uh, Lake Oswego has provided uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars in, in grants, like many other communities, uh, to, to their small businesses. But, you know, right now, a lot of our employees are vaccinated, and uh, the only thing that uh, uh, they're missing is, is, is the customers. So, obviously, for hospitality and gyms, I mean, these are the two hardest hit industries uh, right now, and as we're in extreme risk, uh, many of them are shut down. Restaurants that are fortunate um, and gyms that have outdoor areas. Um, it gives them a, a little business, but that's not the case, you know, for, for most businesses. Um, we know from the CDC that folks that are vaccinated, it is safe for them to go to the gym. It is safe for them to, to, to dine indoors. So it's my hope that as we continue to balance um, this, uh, uh, balance our community health, equity, um, and, and the economy, that we move into a system where we can allow people who are vaccinated to participate in activities that we know are safe. While, while still working to uh, ensure equitable, equitable distribution of the vaccine to everyone um, who, who, who wants it. But I think we need to move out of, of this all or nothing situation where either everyone's open or, or everyone's closed because we do have uh, a vaccine now that is effective, it's safe, and it's free. And we should be using that to our advantage to keep, to keep people employed and, and, and um, uh, keep our, uh, uh, you know, start building our economy back. It's critical. Yeah, the back and forth has been really hard. I know you, you own several uh, restaurants yourself and, and one of them shut down during the pandemic, correct? Um, yes. <laughs> yes, I, I have uh, several restaurants here in Lake Oswego. I have uh, closed one during the pandemic and, and, and opened another. So I've been through every stage of, of restaurant life, mm -hmm. um, but it's especially hard on, on employees. Just this past past week, incredibly stressful, not knowing when you're gonna be able to work, how much you're gonna be able to work, and if, and if customers are gonna, are gonna keep coming in. So yeah. it's, you know, there's a better path forward. All right, well, Mayor, thank you so much for joining us. Good to meet you, Mayor uh, Joe Buck of Lake Oswego. Have a good day. Thank you too, you as well.